just as a forewarning, I'm probably going to sound like not very good in this video. Um, I somehow managed to get sick, and so it feels like there's somebody standing on my chest right now, which is not fun. Just as a quick summary of what's going on in my life right now, I'm going back to school tomorrow. I have one class tomorrow, and then I should have Friday off. Um, we'll see about that. I'm not too excited about that, to be entirely honest, because I'm not a fan of school right now for a variety of reasons that I'm not going to get into. I also have a bag full of, of hard peppermint candies that I can't eat because I've heard they're disgusting, first of all, and also because my braces means I can't really chew on those things and sucking on them kind of hurts as well. Um, and I said that that would happen to me in a video on my main channel, and it did. And I have a box that's on my bed with my address on it um, that came in the mail either today or yesterday, I don't remember. Um, and I can't open it yet because I promised that I wouldn't and that is just really taunting me. Um, so my life is not that great right now. I don't feel that great, but um, I could have had a substitute for this video, but I decided that I wanted to say something. Um, I really appreciate the fact that James finds Across 49th to be his YouTube home, despite the fact that Katie and I, and maybe even Spencer as well, don't necessarily agree. I really appreciate the fact that different people have different meanings for different things, and that it feels different for different people because that makes it special for them and that's really awesome and I really enjoy that. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about home and I know I've talked about this at great lengths on my own channel. I've made two full videos about the topic of home at least um, and I've talked about it here a little bit as well I'm sure but I wanted to talk a little bit more because it is a very interesting topic to me and because I know some people are dealing with issues of home. James has just moved to university, by the way, I have seen him and he's doing well in case you want to know, um, but I'm going to let him talk about stuff. Um, and James would appreciate if you talked about university stuff because I did ask that of Katie and Spencer back in September, I think. Um, so I know James has moved off to university uh, this week and Spencer is has moving stuff, uh, has moved um, in terms of college as well as home and Katie's currently in Hong Kong, and everybody's moving around, and it's crazy. Um, so I want to talk a little bit more about home, and I apologize, by the way, if the lighting is kind of weird. I don't usually film at this angle. Um, generally, I find that moving home is a very good thing, and it's very great for personal growth, and it's generally just a fantastic thing, because if you have the opportunity to move home, that generally means that you should be moving where your home is. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be an easy task. A lot of people get afraid of change, and afraid of things not being the way that they are and stepping outside of your comfort zone and all those things. Um, and those are really valid things to feel, definitely. But I think that you shouldn't limit yourself to staying in one location, that you should be able to step outside your boundaries and step outside your comfort zone um, often because you don't know what you're capable of and you don't know what you really truly like and what you truly enjoy out of life unless you've experienced things outside of your comfort zone and you can say that I'm not comfortable with that because I've experienced it and I know as opposed to I'm not comfortable with that because I haven't experienced it and I don't know. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, so I just wanted to say that while moving home and moving your comfort zone and moving in general can be a very scary thing. Um, it is generally very beneficial and it's, it's very awesome. Um, just as a quick little story, um, back in my senior year of high school, which was like two years ago now, which is insane, um, I had the option of choosing what university I wanted to go to. I could have gone to the States, I could have gone somewhere else in Canada where I could have stayed home, and I have obviously chose to stay home because it was the easier option, and um, I took the cowardly route out and took the easy option, and I know you people are going to say, fantastically that I'm not a coward and I'm, I'm sticking by my conclusion there that I did take the cowardly route there, that I took the easy route um, because it was the easy thing to do um, and at times I do regret that. I, I really do regret the fact that I stayed home and I feel like I should have moved away because it would have been better for me in the long run. It would have sucked for a while but it would have been better for me in the long run. Um, so as much as moving sucks and anxiety about moving sucks and fear of change sucks, um, I think that in the long run it's really definitely just beneficial. Um, I would be interested to see what Katie has to say on this topic because I know she's moved around a little bit in her lifetime as well. Um, if the other two of you, Spencer and James, want to talk about this also, um, that's cool. I, I apologize for um, not making sense and for not editing this well because I don't want to and for shaky camera angles and for spinning around. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to go and just basically chop off 
the beginning and end of this video and upload it to YouTube. Um, and I will see Katie tomorrow, and I'll see you guys next week, and hopefully I feel better by then. Um, bye. <laughs>